Hello and welcome back to another episode of War Tales Pirates of Beleriand. My name is Heiken and today we're continuing the Pirates of Beleriand playthrough <clears throat> where I'm exploring the DLC. As you can see we have found quite a few of the islands already and we're on a little island over here where we uh, need to find Hackwood's daughter or potentially she might be here afterwards uh, before facing a harsh uh, hard enemy i think what we would want to do is really get up here collect that bounty and uh, get the plague remedy so that's the general idea that we're having for now this island here isn't like massively huge instead it seems like the daughter if anything is captured at a siren's nest <clears throat> you know what that means lots of sirens good and you also know what sirens mean sirens typically mean challenging shout into massacre There we go. We're going to take a little bit of damage this time because the siren here will attack us, but yeah, it's really not that much. Good, that's a hit. And a kill. Yeah, I don't... I don't like it that they got uh, an attack back, but... Yeah, whatever. The Pugilist is n uh, cannot deal as much damage. The middle spec might have been a mistake in terms of not being really the one or the other. I definitely will uh, try to check out the other specs. Um, I think movement still needs a slight improvement. 18, much better than 16. And he's not yet at level 8 skills, so we need to keep that in mind as well. He was de facto like two levels behind everyone, which makes a huge difference. The monster. The monster destroyed everything. Okay, well, this here is a traveler soup. I think it's made out of travelers, uh, if I'm just seeing the different arms and body parts in there. Okay. Admiral level 8. Uh, that's a cool equipment overall. I like it. Unfortunately, we can't take it off of her. Let me guess, Traveler Soup is made out of humans. Yep. Hmm. 
Good, so where do we need to bring that captain? Wait. Oh, we need to bring her there. I was like... Are we now going to keep her around? No, not really. I don't want a six-person party. I was very clear about that. Kind of for bodyguard or escort jobs, okay. But most certainly not for a permanent time. And don't get me wrong, I'm the first one who liked big parties, but... Uh, it is just too much time investment in and if I run a big party I can do like one fight and then the episode is over which means the playthrough is all about fighting <clears throat> and not that much about the other stuff and I think there is really a lot that the game has going for itself so that would be a bit of an oversimplification tuna Unfortunately, not shellfish. Still trying to get that nice little shellfish. be good giving him a little bit more experience <coughs> to close the gap and make him you are wanted for oh, many oh. crimes we won't. if you say so there must the wanted status is almost done it was like literally one more wanted and we're gone There you go. Wanted status done. And I wasn't even particularly interested in the cargo to begin with. So, let's land on the island. And finally bring her back. I want to get a sweet reward for once. And I want to know if they might want to get another class in, uh, or if I've just missed the specialization. Because that captain with uh, the dual uh, weapons, that looked sick. Okay, didn't we need to come here? Um, yeah, potentially here, into the temple. My, I'm impressed. No, 
where would we bring her? Well, we could at least get our bo uh, bounty. Got a nice little chunk of money there. And let's get some further bounties. So you found dear Hecate. She doesn't look too well. Mia be cursed. I hope this won't affect the ransom too. I'll handle the negotiations with the girl's mother. Take your due and try not to draw too much attention on your way out. Fantastic. Gained reputation. And we got the blueprint for Ballista. So we should have done that much earlier because then we could have built a Ballista. Wooden planks, metal plate and a hoist. When I'm not doing repairs, I teach you to change up your equipment every now and then. We need that later. Oh, by the way, when I'm not doing repairs, I teach our techniques. You can have that and that and that and that. It would be a real shame to lose and our that. ancestors' knowledge. There you go. Fantastic. Good, I think hoist just needs a coal and we're good. When I'm not doing repairs, I teach our tech. Good, let's forge an extra one because I seem to be running out of these bad boys always and I think, guys, we can get our first ballista. Wouldn't that be fun? Good. The number three on the list, Rodenbert, has taken an interest in us, which means very soon it's going to be yet another duel to the death as we are becoming the main pirate. Reward of that, by the way, is super good. I like it. Ballista, there you go. Installed it, and we can no longer uninstall it. You can put Roby, a horse, on the ballista, really. Very good. Okay, good. So, that is that. Alright, time to do a little bit of housekeeping. So, we want to explore all the way up here. We got two little gigs here and here. Which I think we should take first. <clears throat> it's earning some money on the way. We got a ballista. Oh, okay. Well, that is interesting. Uh, I don't want to shoot. Fire, aim right, aim left. Okay. Uh, stop preparing the ballista. Thank you. I think when we're uh, when we're actually firing the ballista, uh, there is a chance that the enemy is stunned. Or starts the combat with disadvantages, but the combats themselves are relatively easy. You just need to uh, push the enemies off deck. 
and once you've figured out how to do that there's really not that much uh, that is preventing you from winning all of the engagements interesting okay so we got a full-fledged double engagement here Can we take either side or Mercenaries, this way. Pirates? You'd rather kill an amb Unlike pirates, we pay very handsomely, mercenaries. No. No 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 no. Alright, so Banners Winch and twenty portrait of uh, Brutus the Dodge. Let's hmm. I don't know what uh, the rewards are actually going to look like. <clears throat> so we're going to attack the pirates. Good. So, are we having three ships? No way. Okay, that's a cool little setup. Well, for starters, I would like to put as many of uh, the characters on one side. So, um... And you are the only one on the other side. I'm sorry, you are the sacrificial lamb. Good. Uh, we're going to go to here and here. And uh, let's give it a go. No way. Um, can't even reach them. Could we reach them on the other side? Maybe. But then we would need to fight over here. All right. Let's uh, do a bit of a reverse. Um, yeah, okay, we can reach them here, but we can't reach them on the other side. Which means you are still the sacrificial lamb, but you are going to do it from the other side. By thinking about it, maybe we'll leave one person over here with you, because there is an extra uh, way to uh, swing in. And that is not a bad idea. Bit of a chaotic placement overall. Uh, that's an interesting uh, setup. So good. We're starting. Move all the way to here. Good. So let's start with a nice little crit. Unfortunately, that wrong door has a lot of armor. Good. Our helping hands are... No, you're not. You're not as an archer. Really? Come on. Please. Please load the ballista and don't go in. Nope. Goes in ball steep because he feels that's the best idea. Well, now we're stuck with a lot of not so great options. Uh, I am choosing the least bad one, which is flopping in as well. Look at you, that was a stupid idea, wasn't it? Now you're in the middle and you're just going to... Oh, well. That's actually not too bad. Good. We're running. That should recharge uh, or reset our movement, which it does. Fabulous. Whilst we're at it, um, these two here could really nicely be blinded. I like that. Uh, yep, almost.
down to 55 and we're going to do a little trick which is yar dropping down here there we go <laughs> that was so epic okay the fight is going according to plan again. Tank is in the middle of all of them. And we're just dropping like it's hot. Problem is, they will get a lot of uh, actions uh, towards the end. Like right here. And that'll be hurtful. Good. We moved up. Noodle Keeper is ready to go in. Dropping you off the railing would be fantastic. Triple hit over there. I like it. Oh, that was not too bad. I think now is a fantastic time to take out that archer. And if these guys are being pushed back, then he lands here, which means this here would push him even further to the side. Setting up a few chains right here. One hit, two hit. And I can't not do that. All right, come here. I think that already uh, concludes the battle. <laughs> okay, our dropping in would have definitely solved it, but that was a fun battle. Very much dominated it. Okay, so Bandits focused. Enhanced precision for one round. Critical hit chance is increased. I like that. Which might be the right thing for Noodle Keeper to finally. Okay, wait a second. Before we're giving him the helmet. The Legion is a great army on land, but at sea we're a bit inexperienced. You will lent us your experience and skill, and in exchange, I'd like to offer you this gift. You gained uh, Gunner's Winch, and we've helped them, which is good. So, uh, we'll continue to explore, but before we do that, 
Uh, let's see what we've got. This unit can load and activate ballistas in the same turn. That's not bad. I uh, appreciate it. But what's even better is uh, to have armor, more guard, more critical damage, and it requires level 8. Dang it. Well, a little bit more armor. Critical hit increased by 20%. That's not bad. As long as this unit has no guard, they gain 2 rage every time they're attacked. That's also not bad. <clears throat> it's a good helmet. And it offers more willpower. So I think both of them are fine. For now, let's give him that. And you take that. Which finally gets the guard up to 22%. Still trying to make uh, the off tank work with Noodle Keeper. Not easy, but we might be getting there. Okay, we're going to check out all of the coastline here. It's apparently nowhere where we can land. They, they made it uh, quite well, uh, where it's very clear, or uh, they designed it in a way that it's very clear uh, where you can land. And most of uh, the area is not approachable. Okay, a bit more bounty hunting. Good, that's more of a fair fight here. <clears throat> Let's move in and we can very much hit the Seafarer or the Corsair. I think the Corsair is the better choice, mainly because we can directly take him out. Good, moves back. Uh, we're a little bit low on Valor points. We should change that. Three Valor for everyone. Uh, yeah, proactively just dropping back there. Someone is going to land uh, there. Corsair is dying. <laughs> All right, moves up. Oh, Bandit's Focus. I see. You need to pay for it, but then it gives you 20% extra crit. That's not bad. Good. Don't want to be landed upon. We're just going to land here because that's where I think some of them might end their turn. Almost got you out. Good, we're engaging. This guy should deal zero damage. Uh, of course, we're disarmed. That's the one thing that I don't like. There would be an option to prevent disarming. And that would be great. Good, he nicely bleeds. 
and takes a little bit extra damage. And we're just moving away. We'll deal with them in a moment. Ouch, this is going to hurt. Yep. Good shot. Yeah, we need to deal uh, with the seafarer. And I think Fluffy Gender will be the one that's going to tank them. Good, he's almost down. Good. That was fantastic. And let's swing over and... Send them nicely into the water. Loaded the ballista. Hopefully, can't shoot at the same time. getting out of here uh, but we're very nicely going to drop uh, down just in a second ouch that was painful the listers can be rough man Good, now we should start to land, and it should hurt a lot. Luckily for us, only our tank is up here in the front. Oh, that was bad. Now he's out of range and the other landings will likely not do much. Disengage. Next time we're going to get engaged upon. That's going to uh, that's going to give us Valor. Good. There is likely going to be a dropping spot here. I still want to get them off of deck. Luckily, that is always a very good method and I think we're almost done that might be it yep closer battle than expected not everything uh, went according to plan Three, four, 
five. Wow. 180. We really are having a lot of armor. Good. We're going to get to the next target. So we wanted to check out what's over here. Almost explored the entire map. We're getting closer and closer, but there are still a couple of fights left over. Good. So, the idea is we want to uh, next finish the fate of uh, Archipelio. So, that would be our main concern at the moment. I'm still hoping for shellfish, but I think those are high sea creatures only. They prevented you to get uh, the good reward, uh, prevented you from getting the good rewards just uh, from fishing at the coastline. There is another port which we could have used if we wouldn't just randomly go wherever we please. This here looks less civilized, so I'd be curious to see what we're going to find. There's definitely something right over there. But instead of uh, going there and being kind of all exhausted, let's get that traveler stew. Fluffy janitor. I'm almost thinking about giving him the experience, but he's already uh, pretty far ahead. So, if anyone needs experience, it's Noodle Keeper at this point. I don't, uh, I don't want, since it is adaptive level, I don't want um, a single person to be far ahead of the pack. Good, we got a Smuggler's Bastion here. Let's check that out. Market of Wonders. Makes me wonder, do they have anything special in the Market of Wonders that you wouldn't be able do to get somewhere else? Creatures... Sick of eating fish. It looks like your average Joe Schmo trader. The smugglers buy... How could anyone live near those... Hey, I've got hunters in hand. With those beasts out there... I'm not so keen on travel. Oh, look at you. You have a creeper here.
<laughs> Leno, okay. Uh, okay. And mole rats. I see. And a bear. Okay, now I see what it is. Yeah, that is indeed Market of Wonders. Uh, you can firmly... Wait, you can firmly recruit this guy? Uh, he's not a prisoner? But here's the thing, why would you? He doesn't have any specializations. Maybe, maybe just for the fun of it, uh, running a random party with a couple of creepers and mole rats. That actually would be funny. What do you want, mercenaries? Say you found cargo belonging to them. So you found out what happened to the albatross. We hadn't had any news from her crew for days. What do you mean its hull was torn open? Are you joking? I've never heard of pirates with that kind If of... what you say is true, it may be cursed. I'll have to alert the Diaz. Good. The guard leaves... Just be careful. When we left, but the if the survivors hadn't... So, nothing else here. Excuse me, mercenaries. I think all of them are plenty busy. We don't... Oh, one, wait, wait, wait. Brandy, wine, no, that's not what we need. I was thinking about that one tree where you needed med. Shellfish. Shellfish, good fish. And I think we can bend the rule creatively that one time and make you a thief mainly because i really want the shellfish and i don't want uh, i don't know where to get it elsewise and immediately we become an apprentice thief i mean if you're just stealing you're um, that is the quickest way of getting dexterity and critical um, and critical hit. All right, we got the shellfish. We just need to work on it. Uh, once we get uh, a place to smith. I think um, we should bring them the shipment and then uh, that's also a great um, chance to end the episode because we've been gone for a while and next time we're exploring the island together. I hope you will like that as much as I do and as always if you enjoy War Tales, uh, Pirates of Valerian, leave a comment and a like down below and uh, see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.